Hi, everybody. So I am still sick. I am getting a lot better. Um, so I'll be back next week. I'm sorry I've been gone so long, but it's COVID. So, you know, I have to stay home for everybody's safety. Uh, this week, um, I'm hoping most of you are done with your pyrography and your digital mosaics. Um, make sure you turn those in for the pyrography. Make sure you're um, taking a picture of what you've done and submitting it to the assignment in Google Classroom. Make sure though, before you do that, you have wood burned a border around the outside of your wood burning plaque, right? It's not complete until it has that drawn border. You can look at the examples in Google Classroom. There is a uh, slideshow uh, at the very bottom of your classwork feed that gives you examples you can look at. And that's for pyrography. Uh, for the digital mosaics, make sure you take a screenshot when you're done and put a uh, picture of it in your uh, virtual sketchbook. And seventh graders, same thing for your pyrography. Put a copy of the final product in your virtual sketchbook. Um, and for those digital mosaics, all I have to do is go in and look to see if they're done. So you don't have to t click turn in or anything, but you can if you want to, if you're done. Okay. Uh, once you're done with all those assignments, uh, the main projects, uh, now we're moving in to Alibri Hayes right? Uh, for both sixth and seventh grade. Um, I know with sixth grade, we are going to glaze before we actually start sculpting our alabrijes, but since I'm not here to get you started on the glazing, I want you to get started planning uh, for the alabrijes. So I have on um, Google Classroom, this is for sixth grade, I have three assignments for you to start. You need to go take a look at them. One is teaching you how to draw using shapes. Uh, so that you get used to uh, planning out kind of how exactly you're going to sculpt your alabrije. Uh, it's going to be done with shapes, so if you can draw them, it's going to make it a lot easier for you to plan it. Um, so there's that assignment. Then uh, there is the alabrije's intro assignment. You need to do that as well. And that's for both 6th and 7th grade, actually. So both of those assignments I just talked about are for both 6th and 7th grade that you're all going to complete. Uh, and then for sixth grade, you this is just sixth grade, the glaze, there's a glazing assignment that you need to do. Um, it's going to be helping you plan out what colors you want to use, uh, what designs you want to do for your um, vessel that we created. We're all going to be glazing them when I come back. Okay, so I need you to draw out a plan, and there's an assignment for that. Uh, for my distance learners, I need you, for sixth grade, I need you to start coming up uh, with, you know, a description of your vessel so I can find it and get it to you. And I also need to know the colors you want to use. And that'll all be in a, in a Google Forms that you fill out on Google Classroom as well. Okay, get that done. Uh, and then for seventh grade, um, you know, if you run out of things to do, uh, I'm hoping you guys can help each other get those plaques done. We need to be moving forward, okay? So both 6th and 7th grade are going to have three assignments to do this week. If you've already finished some last week, that's fine, but we got to start getting ready to move forward, all right? If you have any questions, just message me. I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. Um, still healing. It's, it's not fun healing from COVID, but I will try to respond as quickly as I can if I'm not resting. Okay, everybody, I seriously miss you. I really hope to be back soon. Um, message me. I miss you. Bye.